Y'all already know, man, all things sports and entertainment. So Yo Gotti, you know, who was a CMG corporate music group. I think he used to be called Cocaine Music Group back in the day. But anyway, his brother, Big Juke, uh, Yo Gotti, them, they had a beef with Young Dolph, honestly. And to me, it didn't make no sense, but they was all beefing with each other. But prosecutors said the other day that Yo Gotti's brother had Big Juke killed. Or deleted, should I say, for YouTube. Uh, prosecutor says that uh, Cornelius Smith, one of the people charged in retaliation to the deletion of rapper, testified in Tennessee court Monday afternoon, saying that he participated in the hit on the rapper because of promised payouts. Smith said that he and Justin Johnson, another suspect in a shooting whose trial started Monday, were set to receive $40,000 each with Hernandez Govan. The man prosecutors say was the mastermind behind the deletion receiving 20,000. Young Dolph born uh, Adolph Thornton Jr. was was uh, shot and deleted on November 17, 2021. The rapper also known for his feature on OT Genesis 2015 song, Cut It, uh, so on and so forth. So basically they're saying that Big Juk had uh, uh, Young Dolph deleted. Now let me get my let me get my honest op opinion. I know they had a lot going on. I ain't from Memphis. I mean, people can chime in if y'all down there, but these are, and when you look at this photo, right? You see Big Juk, you see Young Dolph, and you see Yo Gotti. These are three people who lives are forever changed. And you probably wanna know about Yo Gotti. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. But Young Dolph, who had over 100 homes and was still on the rise and was moving everything independent, he gone. Big Juk, and I remember seeing Big Juk diss Young Dolph, he gone, you know what I'm saying? And he was still a young guy. So, and Young God, Yo Gotti's affected because his brother gone. I'm sure, yeah, he owns a soccer team and they say he worth 100 million and so on and so forth. I'm sure he would give it all away to have his brother back. And what you see is three brothers brothers beefing over what? Over nothing, really? When you, when, when you go back to the original origin, I know um, Gotti wanted to sign Dolph and Dolph wanted to do his own thing. And then Dolph came out with King of Memphis and people was mad. Listen, man, we all kings, man. I'm a black king, y'all black kings. And we, we all kings of this world. Who cares, man? If somebody put king of, king of Atlanta, king of Illinois, you think I'm going to care, king of Milwaukee? You think I'm going to care? It's a title. We all kings. We all millionaires. And even if we don't work together, we can, we can we can mutually respect each other, just like Cash Money and No Limit. These are two people from the same city, and you know they never really went at it like that. You know what I mean? So it's just sad. It's really sad. I know Dolph was dissing Yo Gotti a lot. Yo Gotti really didn't say too much. Black Youngster was doing a lot of his work, but then I heard Black Youngster had. He lost two brothers during this whole time. So it's like nobody won in this situation. You know what I mean? Maybe the government because, you know, it helps clean up the streets, but nobody really won from this. So it's like, okay, let's say Big Juke allegedly did pay $100,000 or was going to. The brothers, the two brothers that 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 was a part of it never received the full payments. Now they lives going to probably be gone because one of them was just found guilty. So you got, you got two lives gone with that. Big Juke ain't here. Young Dolph ain't here. And yo, Gotti got to deal with the trauma of losing his brother. So it's like, was was all of that worth it, man? And that's something that we as brothers got to start. We got to start doing. We got to start putting these petty differences to the side. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.